I'm Andrew from 510 Books. This video is going to be about the result of the mystery crate of books that was donated to me that I'm very thankful for. And to show you what happened, right? What, what I found in terms of what is, uh, you know, FBA or Amazon, eBay, local sale, that kind of thing. So this is um, the table here of stuff that is going online except for this uh, right here. And I also, real quick, there's, there's, there's the John Grisham book, which I'll keep for local sale. And then I have these three books on the, on the ground over here. Three large table or coffee table books. Uh, one's about horses. One's about this. One other one's about horses, too. This one. There's that one. And the Passion. Uh, no Gibson, the movie. As you can see, I've got quite a lot of, of coffee table books. And this is my section for that. Got quite a few. My prices sign fell down, but uh, I will take out some of those. Um, and and some people do buy them. You'd be surprised. People do buy coffee table books, especially they're only they're mostly hardcovers, but uh, so they're 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 only three dollars. So <laughs> it's quite a deal. Uh, you can load up on them if you want. Um, but I do sell some. You know, there, there's some great stuff in there. There's just really cool pictures, and some people like to have that stuff. Anyway, for whatever reason, but um, let me show you what I found for Amazon and for eBay. So, remember I was telling you that I found five Mother Teresa books. Well, here they are. Words to Love By, In the Heart of the World, No Greater Love, My Life for the Poor, and Heart of Joy. So, turns out that out of these five, this one actually is worth sending in to, to Amazon FBA. And the, it profits about two dollars and fifty cents currently, and a lot of copies, about a copy a day, close close to a copy a day, are being sold of this one. So that one's worth sending in. But what I figure I could do is put them all together in a lot and sell them on eBay, because I found that uh, I looked it up on eBay in the last three months. Three Mother Teresa uh, book lots have sold for actually decent money, and there wasn't a ton of books in there. It wasn't like twenty books, you know. It was like five or six or whatever. Um, and so I figure I can put this one that's obviously very popular, the No Greater Love one, in with the rest of them and see what happens. Now, clearly, there's not a ton of them being sold. But um, anyway, I will see with the price, play around with the price, see what happens. But it's pretty quick to, to take the pictures, set up the listing, you know, list it and just store the store those books over here where I have that, that rack there. And I put stuff up there that is for sale uh, that are eBay eBay lots for sale on eBay as lots. Most of them are buy it now. Yes, they're buy it now. Um, so that I think will make sense. We'll see what happens. I'll let you guys know if and when it sells. If it doesn't, worst case scenario, I can always get rid of the other four and then send that other one in to Amazon FBA. Another one I found for eBay, which was a cool find, was this McCall's cookbook. Now, I recommend paying attention... <clears throat> excuse me, to these older cookbooks, Betty Crocker, Better Homes and Gardens, McCall's, you know, uh, there's certain ones that, that, that are vintage or older, like this one's from 1963, and you should definitely pay attention to them and take a look, uh, or look them up on eBay. Other thing is, you can tell it's older just by the way that it looks and feels and, and the whole style. The other thing is it's in excellent condition. It's probably, I would say, well, for this old of a book, I'd say very good condition. I mean, it's got a couple little dings there along the edge. And it's a little bit of staining on the page edge, edges. But, I mean, it's just in great shape. The spine's in excellent shape. And the pages are great. They're not written over. They're not torn out. They're not highlighted, circled, marked on. And then when you look at this, 1963 and first printing. So when you see that, you know that you might be in for something good. Some of these older cookbooks can be worth some serious money, especially the Betty Crocker stuff. And Oh boy, I'm blanking on the others. But uh, there can be some really valuable ones. But this one is, is good if, because it's the first printing. So I'm going to list it for $29.99. I could not take an offer, and it might actually sell for that. But I'm really more interested in turning my stuff over quicker. Or I could list a little bit higher, but there's already one that's around 30 bucks taking offer, so I'd rather just be competitive with them. And again, this is a donation. This is this is uh, 
Not something that I, you know, spent a bunch of money on or, or even if I found it though in the thrift store for two bucks and I could sell it for, let's say I got an offer for 25 or 20 bucks, I made 15 to 20 bucks off of it. That's still a great flip. Um, so anyway, but it's good. You know, it, you always keep a lookout for these older, uh, older cookbooks. They're not all worth money and some of them are really bad shape, but you just never know. That's why I think it's good to, uh, good to sell on eBay to get to know that stuff. Now, the three that I'm actually going to send into Amazon FBA, Father's Legacy, it's a journal, uh, religious themed. This is Paul Kirk's Championship Barbecue Sauce, and now I'm in a puzzle years, The Wise Woman Away. This one's 1190, 1288, 1499. This one, some people might want, ugh, might not want to send in because there's a good amount of FBA offers. Uh, it's not selling a crazy amount of copies. And there's a good amount of merchant fulfilled offers. However, currently, prices are $14.99, which leaves about um, a little over $5 profit for the FBA seller. So I'm willing to send it in, compete with the lowest FBA seller, uh, and see if my copy is able to sell quickly, relatively quickly. If it doesn't, clearly I'm going to have to drop the price. But there's, a, there's enough profit there where I could drop it even two or three bucks and still make a couple bucks off of it. Worst case scenario, of course, is it doesn't sell and then I have to get it disposed of, but um, uh, it's a donation, you know, it's not something I wouldn't, I would not in a thrift store or in a garage sale or state sale or library book sales, whenever those happen again, I would not uh, buy this, you know, spend a dollar on it or two dollars on it. It'd have to be way less competition, It'd have to be a much more popular book for me to spend the money to flip that. Um, but anyway, so overall it was good. Uh, really thankful for the donation. Again, it was a good amount of books. Uh, the rest, so so three for FBA, one individual one for eBay, and this lot of books for eBay. And then I'm keeping four books for local sale. The rest of them are a combination of, uh, they're going to be donated to Little Free Libraries, which is where I mostly donate my books. Um, I don't have any kids' books, so I can't do the... To the schools but uh, what I do is I donate a good amount to little free libraries uh, there's a lot around here I've created a map I've got 12 of them I can go to and one of them in particular is a woman who I've told you about in past videos who takes a lot of books in and is able to hand out a lot of books for free the rest of them um, they're gonna get recycled they're just not they're either in bad shape which actually most of these books were not in bad shape or they're just books that uh, have met their end <laughs> I kind of look at myself as the grim reaper of books where when books are donated to me or however I get in possession of books, um, make a bulk buy or uh, I get donations. I'm kind of the grim reaper. I'm the last, the last uh, person to decide what to do with those books. And because I have a good idea of, you know, between Amazon and eBay, and my local sales of what uh, people are buying, you know, based on the data um, online and based on what I sell here, you know, I, I'm pretty good at being able to to find somewhere for them and also good at, you know, I've gotten better at finding out what makes or what kind of books probably are just no longer really um, popular. And also it really helps with like Amazon and eBay where especially Amazon, you can look it up and if it only has five sales, in, you know, in the last six months or whatever, uh, it's just not a popular book. You know, you can also tell by the the topic, um, an old, maybe an old cookbook or an old technology book or an old textbook or whatever it is, uh, it's pretty, over time you get pretty good at, at being able to figure that stuff out. So, so anyway, you know, I don't feel bad about it. You shouldn't either that some books have just run their course or they never were popular. Um, and it's okay. You don't have to feel bad about recycling them. Um, the other thing I wanted to talk about was reason why I'm here on a Saturday is I got another bookcase, which is awesome. Uh, the first of three or four that I will get, probably four. I picked this up today. Picked this little one up. It's a narrow one. You got the, the bookshelves there. This is exciting because it's getting me closer to finishing off this space. I don't think it's actually going to go right here unless I found another one that fit right next to it, which would be unlikely but you never know. This one's just under two feet. So I need another one that was just under two feet to fit in that space. And that would be perfect. Um, 
those that's four it's four uh shelves plus the bottom one so that's five shelves one two three four yeah five but clearly it's not that wide so uh but i'm thinking that maybe it would go over here i don't know yet i'll have to see um what i find but it's exciting for me because it just <laughs> it gets me closer and i've set i've set it gets me closer to filling out this space and putting all the uh, dvds and audiobooks up here and then having room left to add even more dvds which is is exciting for my next sale um, so all of my sections can have more for uh, for new customers or existing return customers repeat customers um, so that's why it's exciting and um, I don't know I just lost my train of thought but uh, but I'm close to that oh that's right I set the goal of today is it's Saturday so I set the goal uh, by next weekend so this next week I have to finish with finding all the bookshelves I need, the bookcases I need, uh, and also filling them um, so that that's done because I'm getting three Gaylords, uh, two of mixed media and one of CDs on the 26th, which is a week from Monday. So I've got eight days to finish this up. So this part, bookcases, fill the bookcases, and then I need to... Um, I need to restock. I know it doesn't look like there's a ton of space, but there's a good amount. I need to restock the, the CDs here so they're completely, or as much as I can, have them completely packed. This is the, the um, artist and group side. And then uh, if I have some, I will fit them in over here on the um, genre side. That's another, another goal that I have, well, that I'm going to need to do before. Uh, so that's all done, right? Um, so bookcases, fill the bookcases, get all the DVDs off the tables, move the audiobooks from over there, over there. Um, pull out, also the other thing is I'm gonna pull out some CDs that are not selling, like if there's a bunch from um, a certain artist or group that have not been moving, I'll just pull them and list them on eBay, create some more space for other stuff that actually moves. Like I pulled all my Lu Luciano Pavarotti opera guy, and guess what? I have 46 of them. 46. It's a huge lot on eBay. If you're interested, if you like Pavarotti, please go and buy it. <laughs> it's a good deal. It's a, it's a huge collection. Uh, but no one's bought it yet. Um, but I am willing to take offers. And it's sitting there. It's been sitting there for a while. It's over on the, on the rack. But that's okay. Even if it takes a while to sell, um, I'll just keep lowering the price. And eventually someone will come along, hopefully. But the, no one was buying them. And that's a lot of space that was taken up. So I just pulled all of them and put in some other other cds that that will probably do better uh, anyway so bookcases dvds cds and then i already did the records i told you that um the records are all mixed in but all of that needs to be done this week um there was probably was there anything else the books i was not going to do yet as you can see i put books on the shelves here that i'm going to add there's a there's a decent amount and there's a bunch over here there's always a, a lot of classic ones and then over here, etc. There's not a ton, but there's a good amount. However, they're over here is where most of them are. Um, so I'm going to pull some books that uh, have been sitting for a while. And then I'm going to put the, those little dots, the stickers on all the ones I'm going to put in. So at some point I'm going to do that. That's probably going to be the week of my sale. Uh, and I think that's it. Oh, well, no, no, no. Sorry, sorry, sorry. <laughs> the other thing I need to do is I need to pull more records uh, for the new sale. So... I believe it depends on how quickly I can get the bookcases in, the DVDs up, and the CDs mixed in there. But um, anyway, uh, I still need to add more records. So anyway, I'm kind of going on and on. And I think what I'm going to do going forward with my local sale is I'm going to spend that first week to a week and a half. Try to do it within a week. If I can't, about a week and a half is to prepare the space for the next sale. So what that's going to require is that I have a good amount of stock of DVDs, CDs, um, and books. And I will. that's what I'm going to use these Gaylords on the 26th that I'm going to get, is I'm going to have those all sorted out and ready um, so that I don't have to hassle with that and I can just put those up that first week after the sale. So anyway, let me see. Okay. So thanks for watching, guys. I'm going to head home. It's Saturday. I need to go home. Um... Thank you guys for watching. I appreciate it. Uh, check in on my next video whenever that is. And keep booking.